Hello, my loves. How are you? Hope all is well with you guys. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And if you are returning, welcome back. Guys, today I'm going to do your weekly reading. And this will be for my Capricorns. And this will be for December 27th through January 2nd. <clears throat> I hope you guys had a great holiday and everything went well. Um, I was with my daughter. Uh, we went to her house. My mother, my father, my brother, my nephew, um, my daughter, her fiancé, and me. So that's how we spent um, my holidays. We had dinner down there. It was very nice. Uh, had a great time. Love spending time with family. You know, there's nothing like... Um, Spending time with the ones you love and the ones you care about. All right, let's get these two more shuffles and we'll get on with your reading and see what's going on with Capricorns. Okay. Angels, guides, and spirits. What is it that Capricorn needs to know for December 27th through January 2nd, please? I have uh, flute music, uh, Native American flute music playing in the background. I love it. Okay, so the first card that came out is the railroad. And that foretells, um, you've been going through a long journey. There's been a long journey that you've gone through, have been going through. And that is almost near completion. Um, so that journey is ending. So it will be a time for a new beginning. Um, I have, the, it's the two of clubs. And uh, so your journey is about to end. It's been a long, it's been tedious. Um, it's been a journey that you've been, uh, you know, at for quite some time. And that journey is uh, about to end. It's about to end and new things are coming your way. Then I have the uh, <clears throat> the lightning. And that is a surprise. Um, and it's going to happen quickly. Um, so it's a six of clubs. And uh, lightning strikes quickly. Um, so that lightning is going, it denotes a surprise that is coming to you, a surprise that will happen here soon, very soon. Ten of um, spades is the rod, and that protects um, some family quarrels. So um, you're going to have some family quarrels um, that are, will be coming up. I feel as if it's from a distant relative. Um, I don't feel as if it's um, somebody that lives near you. I feel as if it is a distant person that you might have some quarrels with. Ten of diamonds is the scythe and that is um, some kind of disappointment. Okay. Um, I feel as if um, it may have been um, you were disappointed by somebody um, that somebody passed away early. Um, somebody had um, passed away um, too early and you kind of feel guilty about that. You feel as if um, they shouldn't have passed away. And you've been feeling some regrets uh, about that. So you need to move on from that, guys. Um, you know, they were their calling was um, to serve another purpose. Um, their calling um, was to go back. And uh, they had work to do. So look at it that way. Um, it's the Ten of Diamonds. And, you know, you can't um, bring those people back. Um, you will meet them eventually. They're 
they'll be there. Um, you'll meet them eventually. Uh, the Six of Hearts is the house. And you will be... Uh, all your ventures, everything that you are out to do, everything that you are out to set um, is going to be pleasant. Um, you know, you, it's going to be successful. Things are working out for you and um, good things are on the horizon in that aspect. Um, then I have the bear. Okay, that's uh, success. Um, you know, the bear is a successful card, king of clubs. Um, and it is um, nurturing. It's a nurturing um, success. So you're going to feel uh, completed um, with the success. Um, then I have the fox. That's the ace of hearts. And that is, um, that's a distrust. Um, you distrust somebody. There's an acquaintance that is coming in. Um, that is going to betray you. Um, it's not a close friend. It is an acquaintance that might not want to see you succeed and uh, is going to give you some problems. Um, they're one that is going to betray you and you need to watch out for that. I have the children. That is a card of friendliness. Um, you have a friendly disposition. People like you. You are very gentle. You need to show that more though. Um, you need to show that caring side of you a little bit more. So those um, cards that I just read, guys, are your destiny cards. They're the cards that are closest to you. Now I'm going to be reading your outside influences, um, things that um, can come in for you. I have the seven of spades, and that's the cl clouds, and that is the... Uh, that indicates a divorce. You may have been through a divorce or going through a divorce, um, you know, but it it looks um, as if, <clears throat> you know, even though you have had some domestic um, unhappiness um, in your love life, um, things are going to look bright. Things are bright. Uh, you know, it ensures domestic happiness. Um, so don't dwell on <clears throat> a divorce or something like that. Things are going to look up for you. I also have the Cupid. Um, and that is a sign that someone is looking with you at, with great love and longing. So there is a person out there that looks at you and they long for you. They want you. Um, they want to be with you. They want to spend time with you. Um, I have the three of hearts. That's the uh, sun. That's happiness. Um, happiness and popularity. So you are very popular. Um, you know, uh, people love spending time with you. Uh, you, you know, they think of you as um, a very happy person, a very honest and, and, and loving person. And they love spending time with you. The ace of diamonds is the birds. And that is... Um, a misfortune of some sort. It can be a fierce enemy. Um, there's a person, you know, you had that other person here, that fox. Um, <clears throat> but there's this enemy that just doesn't want to see you uh, succeed in things. So be careful of that. Be careful of that person. Um, watch out for that person and keep an eye on that person if you know who that person is. Uh, nine of clubs is the park. You are going to, uh, if, if you're single, um, there's a new love coming your way. Um, it's very near. Um, and you may find that new love in a park, um, that, uh, you know, um, it may not be, but I feel as if it may be, um, some kind of outdoors. You're going to meet this person outdoors. Uh, this, the nine of clubs. So there's a new person coming into your life that is um, that will give love. I have the bride. And that ensures uh, if you're single, you will find the person of your highest, you know, realm. The highest that you wanted. Um, that person is going to be loving, kind. Everything that you wanted in a person is uh, going to be there. If you are married, you're going to have a little bit of turbulence in your marriage. You're going to have a little bit of arguments in your marriage. and um, But things look good. Um, things look like that's going to look good for you in that aspect. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> then I have the nine of diamonds. And that's the heart. And that is great joy. 
You have great joy near you. Um, great joy is coming to you. Then I have uh, the money safe. And the money safe, um, you know, you're going to have a, a, some loss um, of some of your money. Um, so be careful of your money. Um, be careful of, you know, where you put your money. Be careful of the stock markets um, that you put your money in. Watch your bank statements. Um, keep an eye on that stuff um, because you're going to have a little bit of loss of some money um, it, you know, in the future here. You can change that, so just keep an eye on that because it is an outside influence. But there is some loss of some monies. So that's the three of diamonds. So that is what I have for you guys in that reading. So let's put these cards up and put these away. All right, so let's ask Universe what it is that they want to talk to you about or any, that you need to know from Universe. Universe, what is it that my Capricorns need to know? What is it you'd like to tell my Capricorns for the week of December 27th through December 2nd, please? Or January 2nd. I can't believe it's almost January. Oh my goodness. This year has flown by. Glad it's over though. Almost over. Alright, one more shuffle. Alright, universe, what is it that Capricorn needs to know? What do you want to tell Capricorn? What is it they need to work on? You guys have uh, the new moon. And the new moon is all about promises. Um, you know, you have, uh, I feel... I, I like this card. Um, we have the two people down there. They're looking out, you know, and that's about promises of love. Um, it is promises of good things coming your way in um, your love life. Um, you know, it's it, it, it foretells something new. Something new is going to start. Something new uh, in that. <coughs> I do not know why I'm coughing, guys. Okay, so that is what I have in there. Now I want to pull a postcard from Spirit for you. So let's um, shuffle these cards and pull a postcard from Spirit for you. See what Spirit wants you to know. Spirit, what is it, Capricorn? You'd like to tell Capricorn that they need to work on. Oh. All right, dearest you, miracles never run out. Look back over your life and you will see, see so many moments of synchronicity that all the right people, the right place, the right opportunities, and the right time just showed up without any of your help. Think back how you felt just before a miracle happened. You felt you were giving up. But it was more like a gentle surrender to whatever was about to happen. We want you to know that miracles are being concocted for you and you will never, ever run out of them. You just don't get to choose how they come. Who will deliver them? When will they show up? And what they will do for you? All of that is our department. Spirit knows what is best for you and what wants to be expressed through you. You are incredible and amazing and a magnet for miracles. That would be a good mantra for you today. We're on it. Relax. If you only knew how much you were loved. So, guys, miracles happen. Um, we don't always get the exact 
miracles that we want. Um, you know, opportunities are coming, um, opportunities, love, uh, everything is coming to you. Um, you know, look back at the things that you have gotten, you know, look back at the things that have, um, showed up in your life. Did they show up the way you wanted them to? No. Um, you know, spirit is there. They're there for you. Um, they know what's best for you. And so they will give you what you are wishing for, just maybe not in the way that you think that it is going to happen, okay? Um, but they're here for you. They love you. They, uh, you know, they, they're going to show you um, the miracles, and the miracles are going to happen for you. All right, so let's, um, one last card. I'm going to feel these cards, and I'm just going to pull one that... I feel is going to resonate with you. A lot of energy to this card. Rise to the level of art. One of the best things you can do to support the people around you is to be the best version of yourself you can be. Don't try to teach anyone a lesson. Instead, raise your thoughts, feelings, and energy to the level of art. As you are lifted, all are lifted. That's awesome, guys. Um, so lift people up. Don't bring people down. Um, you know, you lift people up and you, you're going to be lifted. You know, things will come to you. Things will be lifted for you. So, guys, I hope that helps you. Um, remember, this is a general reading, so it may not resonate with all of you. So be sure to check out your sun, your moon, and your rising readings also. I hope you guys have a wonderful new year. And until next year or until next time, um, I love you guys. Have a wonderful and a beautiful rest of your day.